The meeting so far has been great. This one kind of allows you to kind of take a deeper dive into specific topics as it pertains to heart transplantation. I would say better utilization of organs. How do we expand the pool for patients that need it? At the front end and at the back end, how do we optimize our outcomes once these hearts go in? The other thing that I've noticed, obviously coming from the critical care side, is that there is a great presence of cardiogenic shock. And so at this meeting, I've noticed that there is a focus on how do we improve outcomes not just as a bridge to transplant, but even as a bridge to recovery. I just came out from the session about the fragile heart. With heart transplantation, the biggest problem we face is the donor pool. We have lots of patients on a wait list and there's a wait list mortality. So how to increase the donor pool? And one of the big things we have seen is newer storage techniques and transportation techniques with cold storage and warm perfusion. Our chances of transplanting more patients is definitely increasing. So it's a, it's a big advancement in the field. I think there's a lot of uh, sort of emphasis on multimodal molecular testing and surveillance. So the use of things like uh, donor-derived cell-free DNA. The other thing I think is DCD donors. So expansion of the donor pool. And I think that's something we hope to endeavor back in, in my program in Oman. The primary takeaway for me is that the future is bright. You know, the best is yet to come. There's a lot of exciting technology that's on the cusp of really being available and accessible to take care of our patients. And, you know, I'm really looking forward to the next few years in this field. I became interested in heart transplantation during my cardiology fellowship, and it became pretty quickly clear to me that all of the engagement, all of the discussion, all of the research collaboration was happening through ISHLT. And being at the meeting every year is where all of that happens. Thank you.